now see uh, in this uh, video I'll discuss the condition for a degree 2 equation to represent pair of uh, intersecting lines pair of parallel lines and pair of coincident lines so when a degree 2 equation is given like uh, uh, what should be the condition that it represents a lines first of all and then lines can be pair of intersecting lines pair of parallel lines and pair of coincident lines so what are these conditions that differentiate uh, these cases right what should be the condition what should be the constraint so that we get intersecting lines we get parallel lines we get coincident lines so first of all i'll start with the uh, equation of uh, pair of lines equation of degree 2 homogenized equation of uh, degree 2 homogenized equation of degree 2 means there is a uh, 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 2gx, 2fy, and constant c. These terms are not there. Linear and and degree zero terms are not there. Only degree two terms are there. And the it means the conic is passing through origin because it will always pass through zero comma zero. Zero comma zero will always satisfy this equation. So we are taking a case where uh, this is passing through origin. Fine. Now, oh, now what should be the condition on a, b, and h so that it represents a pair of lines? To understand that we let's treat this as a quadratic in x so it is ax square plus 2hy into x linear term and this is a constant term with respect to x now we solve this quadratic using uh, like roots of quadratic formula x equal to minus b b b means coefficient of x minus 2hy plus minus square root of discriminant b square minus 4ac that is 4 h square y square minus 4 a b y square divide by coefficient of 2 times coefficient of x square that is a so you can see uh, let's let's simplify this further minus 2 h plus minus we can take 4 out and cancel uh, it will become 2 and we'll take 4 out will become 2 and cancel 2 uh, between numerator and denominator so it is minus h y if we can take y common y square can be taken out and become y minus h plus minus root of h square minus a b divided by a into y now this is the type x equal to ky that is x equals to ky line passing through origin so the condition that this degree 2 homogenized degree 2 equation represents pair of parallel lines means it, uh, so you can see there are two values plus minus so it will become first of all the case pair of intersecting lines for pair of intersecting lines the two equations should be distinct for the these two to have distinct so plus from plus minus we should get two values so to plus minus to return two values the only condition we have to put is h square minus a b should be greater than zero because if h square minus a b is greater than zero this exists square root of a positive number exists and we have a plus minus means we'll get equation of two lines passing through origin or we can say equation of pair of lines where point of intersection is origin right this is the case pair of intersecting lines passing through origin now second case pair of uh, uh, coincident lines see here if this becomes zero if h square is ab right so it means this becomes zero it means there's no value of plus minus we get only one equation x equal to minus h y by a so it means uh, this time the pair of lines represent coincident lines passing through origin both the lines are same because d equal to zero will get perfect square so there's only one root means one line pair of coincident lines you can say when h square equal to a b right now finally if we see this case case h square less than a b it means this is meaningless we have a negative number inside the square root which is not a real number so if this is not making sense it means we cannot uh, have these factors this 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 does not exist so in this case s square less than a b we have uh, like imaginary lines passing through origin non real lines you can say passing through origin right so you have to remember this condition that when a, for a homogenized case uh, we have uh, uh, h square equal to ab coincident lines h square greater than ab is uh, intersecting lines 
so these are real lines h square minus ab greater than equal to 0 h square less than ab non real lines now let's see the case of uh, 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 non homogenized degree 2 equation so we'll start with this case ax square plus by square plus 2hxy plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 so in this case is again uh, we're taking equation of a co uh, conic equation of a uh, degree 2 equation which will represent conic right but we want to see specifically the ca ca cases where this degree 2 equation represents pair of lines pair of parallel lines pair of in uh, intersecting lines and pair of coincident lines right so for that we assume it to be a quadratic in x ax square plus linear term of x 2h y plus 2f uh, sorry plus 2g into x and then we have y terms by square plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 so expressing in terms of quadratic in x right now if we find the roots of this uh, x equals to minus 2hy plus 2g plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac 4a by square 2fy plus c divided by 2a right we can take two common and cancel out it will this 4 4 when come out becomes 2 and this whole cancels out now for this equation to represent uh, 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 first of all pair of lines pair of lines means linear equation in x and y x and y should form a linear relationship right pair of lines will come because the plus minus here but, but but we should not have the square root term then only it will represent pair of lines so it means quantity inside the square root that is h y plus g whole square minus a times b y square plus 2 f y plus c should be perfect square so this should be perfect square right if it's expressed in terms of uh, uh, quadratic in y so it is coefficient of y square from the side is h square minus a b into y linear term is 2 h g minus 2 a f into y plus g square minus a c equal to 0 you can see this is a quadratic in y now this should be a perfect square for this to be a perfect square discriminant of this equation should be 0 discriminant of this should be 0 and d of this is uh, 4 h g minus a f whole square e minus 4 times h square minus a b into g square minus a c should be 0 that is h d minus a f whole square should be equal to h square minus a b into g square minus a c so this is when this is the condition for degree 2 equation to represent pair of lines when we say pair of lines it is pair of intersecting lines pair of parallel lines pair of consonant lines all such cases are in, uh, included Right, it's a linear combination basically. Basically, the degree two equation should be expressed as a as a should be able, should be uh, able to express as a multiplication of two linear equations. Right, multiplication of two linear terms. So for that, this must be the condition. And if you simplify this, this condition can be expressed as A B C A B C uh, F F G g h h right so this should be equal to zero we can simplify this and express it like this so this this is the condition for degree 2 equation to represent pair of lines now <coughs> apart from that like see uh, uh, once we have the pair of lines what is the condition that 